what is up everyone in today's video i'm going to be reading you the v 4.0 patch notes that came along with season four and then, so there was actually quite a few things that happened in the, that they changed in this and that i didn't even know like one thing is that the crossbow was removed um had no idea but here we go so in general input settings are now filtered based on game mode They've also been grouped up as categories. Combat, building, editing, and etc. Now easier to search through them. Added an icon tab at the top of the settings screen. Added ignore gamepad input on the abilities in settings. And what this is is that if you just have your, you know, controller map a different way or using the Xbox or PlayStation to map your controller inputs, it allows you to ignore it. Um, fixed the crash when using the radical menu. Improved. And I, that was, that's it for general. To gameplay. Structures on the starting island can now be destroyed, not in the battle bus. Don't try that. Whoever, or whoever did try that, don't do it. Headshots are now prioritized when, when other body parts are in the way. Incoming headshots from above and straight on will no longer be blocked by your character other body parts. For example, a shot that hits in your target's hand will be able to penetrate through and hit their head if your aim is on point. You'll be credited with a headshot instead of a normal damage. Headshots from below are blocked by legs, torsos, and shoulders, and they do normal damage. This change will affect all weapons except for rocket launchers and grenade launchers. Slight reduced the hit size of the hand player's hand, reduced the number of visible when spectating players, knocking a player off the island will award an elimination credit. Fall distance is now shown in the elimination feed. When starting now on the starting island, you can now see other players. And bug fixes. Fix an issue that would cause players' built structures to appear intact for a few seconds. Uh, fixed where your pickaxe uh, doesn't flip out anymore. <laughs> Fix the issue destroying buildings underneath an enemy wouldn't count as kill credit. Fix the issue where some pre-placed wooden archways couldn't be destroyed. Fix the issue that made the battle bus uh, appear to fi fly really quickly. And fix the issue that would pause down player's health bar if they were reviving and they got disconnected. And that is it for the gameplay. Now to UI. For UI, you can now mark cosmetic items as your favorite. That is important because now you can use your favorite items to be randomized. This, uh, you can also have them randomly choose in between the items. You are no longer limited to just six slots on your emote wheel. You can spray in emotes as, and can use any of the ones you own in a match. Locker slots act as a page of presets. You can now cycle through any emotes marked as your favorite, and then all emotes, sorted by the type. The mouse wheel, mobile button, and added to the next radical menu. The locker emote slot button binding, which allows you to immediately trigger any of your six emotes or brace presets. While auto running is active, the icon is displayed. Improve the look and feel of the game, pay game options tab. Slightly decrease the size of arrow over player's head when they are close to you. Fourth and fifth weapon slots will now default to keys 5 and 6 instead of Z and X when using the reset to default. And the 4 to 3 aspect ratio is now supported. For bug fixes, your compass now shows 360 correctly. Fix the issue where you could get stuck in your inventory, opening and closing it very quickly. Like, just who who figured that out? Uh, who was the idiot that was standing still and opening and closing and opening and closing and opening and closing? That's just, just bad. <laughs> Fix the issue where you show net status HUD options would be reset to off after restarting the game. Fix the issue that caused consumable timers to not be displayed when using a consumable immediately after canceling one. Fix the spelling area... <laughs> Fix the spelling error in Tomato Head. Good job, guys. Good job, Epic. Fix the squad comms wheel. Can now be closed with the s 
circle on the oh, gotcha. Close on the circle with the PS4 button, and then B on the Xbox controllers. Weapon slot key binding slots are no longer called ability slots in the input menu. And that will be it for UI. Now to weapon and items. It's sad to say, but the crossbow has been vaulted. That's uh, it's a little bit sad to see because it, I remember that when it got so much hype, and it, it's fun to get a headshot with that and to get a kill with it. And it, it really is. Um, rocket launcher's aim reticle is now fixed size regardless of the player's movement. Hit markers are now displayed looking through scopes. Increased pickaxe damage against supply llamas, now dealing 50 damage per hit. That's it. Except for some bug fixes. But that's it for weapons and damage. Or items. Fix the issue where the weapon could have no ammo when dropping it immediately. Improve pickaxe swing responsiveness when switching from the weapon to pickaxe, immediately holding the swing button. Fix the issue that prevented hunting ralph rifles from auto reloading if it was fired immediately after reloading fixed the issue that allowed grenades to be thrown in rapid succession while sprinting fix the issue where aiming a grenade a grenade throw and then switching to build mode would cancel the throw fix the issue with builder pro configuration that caused players weapon to fire while trying to build in some cases that happened to me a lot. That got me killed multiple, multiple times. Glad to see that's gone. Clinger now properly clings to fallen supply drops. Okay, who the hell doing that in the first place, though? Uh, and that that will be it for the weapons and items. There's a few other little things here on the patch notes. Replay system. Add in an in-game list to replays. Leaving a replay will now take you back to replay browser. Renaming replays will now be limited to 32 characters. Increase the size of column in replay browser. And fix the alignment of elimination columns in replay browser. Fix the issue where replay browser list couldn't be navigated with gamepad after canceling and uh, renaming a replay. And then there's a few other things. Here for art and animation, hunting grapple animation animation have been updated. Shotgun revolvers, hand cannons, and rocket launchers have had their uh, equip animation improved. They now show match match the equip sound, and their equip timing remains the same. The dust cloud that appears on the player's landing now shown for all players. Storm wind can now be affected by trees within the storm. Fixing supply llamas not playing destructive effects when killed by projectiles. Fix the issue that caused back bling to display improperly after using the launch pad, and players can now emote while rocket riding. I love how Epic just totally supports rocket riding. They're like, well, that's pretty cool. Just keep it in. <laughs> I thought that that'd be something they would take out for sure, and then you just have to enjoy it while you can. But no, I'm actually quite happy that they left it. So, a um, couple things for audio here. Shotguns, the reloading sound, will now be will ha be right before you can shoot. Uh, players falling from one or more stories will now have a louder sound. And fix the issue that caused footstep audios to play when players were mid-air. Okay. Fix the issue where minigun equip sounds would be presetted after quickly switching away from it. And that should be it um there's a few other things for there's actually quite a big big thing for save the world but i'm not going to go over that right now and then the same with mobile i'm just going to go over the big i'm just want to go over the big things um for this patch note well i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one and don't forget to leave a comment uh, tell me if you like the video or what i should do to improve the next one all right and um i will see you in the next one bye